I was born with cardiomyopathy, which my parents didn't realize and the doctors didn't realize until I was about three months of age. Um, I started acting kind of lethargic, uh, and so my parents took me into the doctor. My, the doctor listened to my heart and recognized that something didn't sound right. My parents were suddenly faced with the realization that I needed a heart transplant. Heart transplantation was really kind of a brand new technology, especially on infants back in 1992. Um, and so they, of course, nervously agreed to have me uh, be put on the waiting list. I waited for three months and I received my second heart on Mother's Day of 1992. After about 12 years of really sort of living the normal life of a kid, um, I suddenly had a fainting spell and was taken in and they recognized that I had the beginning stages of coronary artery disease, which is um, a very early form of rejection. I'm going through all of these treatments for, for a good two years. Um, and then the doctors at Children's Hospital one day sat down and said, you know, maybe because it keeps progressing, it's time to, to think about getting back on the waiting list for a transplant. So I was placed back on the waiting list and waited for 13 very long months. That was about the middle of July of 2005, um, about 14 years ago. Uh, the Donor Dash was an event that was sort of just beginning and we had plans for me to come and give a speech at the Donor Dash um, as somebody who was on the waiting list. But we had to cancel those plans because in the middle of the night, um, the night before the Donor Dash was scheduled to happen, um, I got the call that, that a heart was available. And now life is completely wonderful. I play drums in a touring band. Um, and so we're leaving on tour two days after the Donor Dash once again. So I'm hitting the road. I'm healthy. I go in <clears throat> to the hospital once every six months. Um, I take my medicines every day and honestly, hardly think about it at all, um, which is exactly the way that it's supposed to be. I'm not really just living for myself, but there's parts of me that are sort of living for two other people as well. And so I go out and I try to, to honor them by living my life to the very fullest.